Andrew Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're looking at the XFX Radeon HD5770 one gigabyte graphics card. Taking a look at the front of the packaging, the first thing that we notice is that it's very busy. There's a lot on the packaging, a lot to take in, but that's because this card has a lot of features. So straight away we can see that it's made by XFX. It's the Radeon HD5770. It's a graphics card with PCI Express 2.0 bus using one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory and it has a HDMI output. It states some of these features down here again, including the fact that it has a 5 star support rating and having ATI iFinity, which is one of the new technologies for multi-display. There's a couple of other little stickers up here, but other than that, it looks like quite a swish little box. And now taking a look at the bottom of the box, we can clearly see the system requirements and what's included inside the box. A few other little logos are over here. Now taking a look at the back of the box, we can see some of the key features, which include ATI Affinity, ATI Stream Technology, OpenGL 3.1 Technology, Dual Mode ATI Crossfire X, and ATI PowerPlay Technology. It also gives us a, a brief bit of blurb about XFX and this actual card, including their 5-star support. Some of the logos for some of the technologies are printed down here. Upon talking to the marketing guys at XFX, they've clearly sort of said to us that one of the most important things they've actually done with the Radeon HD5 series is change the box, which is always a nice little thing, so we're just going to have a little look. So by opening up the box, inside we are greeted with this box. So when we look at this, once again it's got XFX on there with the XFX website. Upon opening this up, we can see inside that it's got this sort of shelf. So in here, if we open this up, it has some of the features, Crossfire, uh, Configuration, uh, PCI Express, and a dongle. Closing that back down, we can see we've got the Quick Install Guide, uh, Driver CD, a few other little bits and bobs, including the door hanger to tell people, do not disturb, I'm gaming. Once we actually take this shelf out, we see that we've got this coupon for Battleforge, and underneath that is the actual graphics card. Once you've opened up the simple packaging, you'll be greeted with all of this inside, which includes a product key for the game Battleforge, which is a brand new game from Electronic Arts. You also get a quick install guide, a door hanger telling people, do not disturb, I'm gaming. You also get an ATI graphics card driver CD, installation guide, crossfire bridge, DVI to VGA adapter, and double Molex to PCI Express adapter. Now taking a look at the graphics card in a little bit more detail. Straight away we can see that it's encased in this plastic heatsink cover which goes all the way from one end of the card to the other. Also encased in this is this bright red fan in the middle which uses the design that we've seen on a lot of graphics cards as of late. It doesn't need mass amounts of fins and it's not like a traditional fan. Instead it actually sort of swoops the air around and kicks it out the side. Now taking a look at the underside of the graphics card we can see that it uses this sort of dark brown PCB. Nothing's out of the ordinary. It's got a couple of stickers on here with various different part numbers and serial numbers that you don't need to worry about unless you need to RMA the card. It's also got this X clamp which obviously holds the GPU from the other side and we can see exactly where it's screws in, as well as the other various different screws on the card for the heatsink uh, cover which is, as we spoke about, protecting the whole of the card from end to end. Now just taking a quick look at the specifications of the HD5770, you see that it's got a GPU clock speed of 850 to 875 megahertz, so it does fluctuate between the two. It has 800 stream processors, uses PCI Express 2.0 technology, has a 128-bit memory interface bus, the memory type used is GDDR5, and there is one gigabyte of it operating at a speed of anywhere between 4,800 and 5,200 megahertz, which is absolutely astronomical. It is DirectX 11 compatible, and that is the rage with all of these 5 Series cards, that it's the new technology using DirectX 11, as well as shader model support 5.0 and OpenGL optimization and support of level 3.2. The minimum power requirement is a 450 watt power supply with only one 6 pin power cable needed. One of the main things that AMD were drumming into my mind uh, when I was on a conference call with them was the fact that these cards use little to no power. So when we look at this card we can clearly see tucked away in here is a single PCI Express adapter because this uses hardly any power on idle and when on full load it will still use a lot less power than some of the older generation graphics cards. Due to this card having quite a big plastic cover around the heatsink we do notice that a lot of things are, are quite well hidden including the power adapter port that we just spoke about but we can see over here is where the 
ports are for Crossfire Crossfire X. So with the adapter that comes included, if you have got another one of these cards, you can plug it in and off you go and get sort of a, a little bit more performance out of your system as opposed to buying one card which is a lot more expensive than, than buying sort of two of the cheaper cards like the 5770 graphics card. As with all new graphics cards now, whether it be from ATI or Nvidia, it's becoming the norm to have a graphics card that takes up two PCI slots in your case. It is becoming sort of standard practice, but with ATI it's got quite a good reason. With Nvidia cards you will notice that one of the slots generally the bottom, has got the connections. On the top one it's just for exhausting out hot air. On the ATI 5770 we do have a little bit for exhausting hot air but we do have a DVI connection over here as well. The reason that they've done this is there is a lot of connections on this card so you clearly see that we have two DVI connections, a HDMI connection and a display port. So there's very good reason behind their design and I think it works quite well. When we had a look at the main specifications of the 5770 earlier we briefly touched on the fact that it was ATI's new set of graphics cards which um, compared to some of the older cards that they've got it's got quite a few new technologies including the fact that it's a DirectX 11 capable card which is absolutely amazing. It also has Radeon Crossfire X technology which is simply put for connecting multiple graphics cards together. It also has ATI Radeon PowerPlay, Stream Technology and iFinity. Just looking at iFinity quickly, that is basically a new feature for connecting multiple display monitors. And if you have a look around on the eTechnics.com website, you can clearly see that we have touched on some of these features in some of our news and press release articles. Having a quick look around on the internet, trying to find a price for the XFX ATI Radeon HD5770, you have to be where there are a couple of models of this, there's actually one with a slightly less memory. So having a quick look around for the one gigabyte version, the cheapest price I was able to find was £126.89 pence, including VAT, and that was from aria.co.uk. <laughs> If you've seen the last two reviews that we did on the ATI Radeon 5750 and the XFX Radeon 5750, uh, we did actually mention in those reviews that it was a fantastic card for the value. This one, however, is only £10 more and the performance of the results from it are absolutely outstanding. I can't believe how well this card performed and, and how cheap it is basically. If you're looking for bang for buck and you do want to step into the DirectX 11 market, then this is going to be the graphics card for you. It's from a reliable manufacturer, XFX. It's cool, it's stylish, it's got good cooling properties. It's a winner in my books, and that's why I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars.